Imam Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah has said us a story about a man who worked as a musician and listened to songs all day. Some Muslim youths do the same and listen to songs in cars, in their headphones, on online and what not. Back to Imam Ibn al-Qayyim's story. He said that this musician was dying and people around him urged him to say La ilaha illallah. But he would only sing. As they urged him to utter La ilaha illallah, he kept singing. When they insisted him, don't sing, he stopped, but yet he kept humming some rhythms. And finally, he died. Imam ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah also cited a story about an immoral man. That man led a promiscuous life and never offered prayers. The man was dying and he was suffering from death pain. So his children and loved ones were there and urged him to utter La ilaha illallah. The Prophet ﷺ said, He who would utter La ilaha illallah before death, he will enter Jannah. So they kept urging him to utter, but as they were doing so, he couldn't say La ilaha illallah. He couldn't utter the testification of faith as he had never offered prayers since he was held accountable. So he thought it would be of no use as he was always leading a bad life and he never offered any prayer in his life. Finally, on his deathbed, he also couldn't say La ilaha illallah. So Muslims, before you fall into this situation, turn back towards Allah, offer your prayers, lead a good life and you will be able to utter La ilaha illallah before dying. And that will be your source to go to Jannah, insha'Allah.